Lord's royal daughter of Jerusalem. For behold, the Lord shall come, and in that day there shall be a great flood, and the mountains shall bring forth sweetness, and the hills shall flow with milk and honey, for a great prophet is Lord, I give. 
listen to our glory. My dear brothers and sisters, welcome to the Daily Bible Wisdom. In the Gospel of today, we come across two women, 
first mary second elizabeth who were pregnant about the same time elizabeth was old and past the age of child bearing and mary was but a young lady yet don't forget what they both had in common they were cousins they were both in their first pregnancy both became pregnant through an almighty act of god god sent the angel gabriel to announce both the conceptions and births and they were both were given a child who played a key role in god's plan of salvation today i would like to reflect on three things on the gospel passage first a joyful leap in this christmas season our hearts should leap with joy at the thought of the baby in bethlehem's manger this morning we should feel the joy and celebration john the baptist felt in his mother's womb he felt this joy and celebration because what the prophets had foretold about was finally coming to fulfillment we should all leap with joy because in this christmas season we are reminded that all things are possible with god second no jealousy here we see two women pregnancy about the same time with babies destined to do great things but there was no rivalry no sense of competition no contest about how they had the best and greatest baby not only was there no competition between the two mothers but there was no competition between their child as well the bible makes clear that john the baptist was not the light he came only as a witness to the light who is christ that is why john said jesus was more powerful he said he was not worthy to untie the thong of jesus sandals third point a step in faith a final point i want you to look at is how elizabeth praises mary's faith her belief just imagine without any physical participation by a man mary was going to conceive and bear a son mary believed god would accomplish this mary believed the creator spirit was going to do this amazing work in her what amazing faith no wonder elizabeth pronounced mary to be blessed we cannot be a disciple of the lord unless we trust and obey him so let us become the lord's disciple oh rise and hear the voice of oh, clear come ringing through the darkness drear and bid the gloom and shadows fly for christ in splendor shines on high
And scepter of the house of Israel. O open and uncan close. O close and uncan open. O come, free the captive from prison. Who sits in darkness in the shadow? My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord, and my spirit rejoices in God. Thank you.